If you have a 2015 Covert Code Black 3G cellular trail cam, and on or about July 19th, for some unknown reason, it started not sending pictures, and your subscription to your service provider is paid, I have an explanation for you and a resolution to that problem. Stand by and I'll be right back with you. On or about July 19th, 2016, our last picture, as you see here highlighted in blue, was 11.03 a.m. Sometime thereafter for us, Eastern Standard Time, and then I'm going to show you here and we'll scroll all the way down. Before all that, all these pictures were sent with our domain server. Somehow, don't know how they did it, but there's thousands. And there's nine other cameras at this location. And they all ten quit working. On or about July 19th at 11.03 a.m. Somehow, Covert has restricted the cameras to where they only send using their mail servers. They've created an account, codeblack54 at covert-att.com. It's all fine and good, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to set that up, and then we'll get a little bit more into it. Be right back with you here with the camera. First thing you're going to do is you're going to start out with your SD card in the camera. Then you're going to turn your camera on. Then you're going to go to your menu, and you're going to tab over to net. Press up, you highlight your download tool, click OK. I've already done that on here, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you do that, you're going to get out of that with menu. You'll turn your camera off. And then you're going to remove your SD card. I'll meet you back at the computer. Once you're at the computer, you insert your SD card. Now that should pop this up. If it doesn't, you go down, you can go to my computer. I've got a file here, File Explorer. Go to it. And then you're going to go to this PC. And then you'll go to this, your SD card. Once you're here, you're going to go to this covert app, and it's going to ask you this question. You'll hit yes. Then, one moment, let me clear out our stuff here. Once you're here, you're going to rename your camera. So if it is East Sorry, I'm typing one-handed, but if it's the East Pond or whatever you want to call it. And then um, you want to send mode instant zero, it's unlimited. And then you want to either send them to a phone by text by email or both I like email next thing you're gonna do is set sender email now this is the email account they created they use a Gmail server that is their 
username and password they gave me to input okay you can use that if you want but you'll be forewarned here and now by me they are retaining a copy of all your information repeat covert is retaining a copy of all your information it automatically copies everything that's sent from your camera to the sent file on that email account okay so what I did and what I suggest you do is create a Gmail account for your cameras camera or cameras one or more uh, you can distinguish which one they're coming from by renaming them on the previous screen if you make one email account a Gmail account for them all to come from then you'll retain your information not them that's the only thing I can figure why they've restricted the um, to where we have to use their server is because they're retaining that information in their sent file so whether you use this one that they gave me or you want to create your own that's up to you so if you're going to send a phone you put the phone number there you select if it's AT&T or who or email you put the email there then you come down here to this and you select sorry my camera's dying my phone this first one died too you select that you hit OK you come down here and you hit OK there once you do all that I'm gonna cancel it out once you do all that, then your camera, you take the, the di you exit out of the file here, you safely remove the hardware down to the toolbar, you remove your SD card, you put it in your camera, you insert it back into your SD drive, turn it on, program it, hook it up and it should work so for all you covert co black they've been great cameras I don't know why they've made the change to where they want us to use their server other than because they are keeping a copy of everything sent if you use that code black 54 at covert attcom or if they have more and use one of them that's similar it copies automatically a copy of everything that's sent. It gets a copy of the picture, where it's going, who it came from, who all it's going to, whether it's email or text. It's keeping a copy. So, for your... I know most of you don't care, but I think it's an invasion of privacy. And I don't agree with it. There was no terms and conditions when these cameras were purchased that said we had to use their server and give them a copy of everything that we use that we took with you know took the everything that the camera took and sent and i don't I just don't agree with it so but whatever you do is up to you and uh anyway, I hope this helps you. I wish everyone uh, happy hunting and good luck and stay safe and God bless.